Hello friends, welcome to my next research video. You are with me, Professor Raju Sekharan. If you are a first timer to my YouTube channel, please do not forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Click the bell icon so that when I post my next video, you will get immediate notification. Today I have come up with what is research gap? How to identify research gap? First of all, what do you mean by research gap? It is very simple. Whatever the gap you identify in the already available research, that is what research gap. What are the ideas which, which have not been explored or unanswered in the pre, by the previous researchers that you can identify as the research gap? Why do we need to know the research gap? Because it is quintessential when you write a research paper, when you start to a PhD research or whatever the research you do, you need to establish the research gap. That means you need to prove that whatever you are planned, intended to do uh, in your research has not been already done by the previous researchers. What are the way you can identify the research gap? For that you need to know the different types of research gaps. First one it is called conceptual research gap. Conceptual research gap means some concept somebody has already what, but still there are uh, certain options available you can explore further. Or in the conceptually, you mean you can what you call extend the previous study that is a conceptual gap. Second thing is a time gap. Time gap means someone could have studied about a particular phenomenon maybe 10 years back. After that, uh, uh, that, 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 that particular study, the last 10 years, no, no other study has been done. Probably you can redo that thing because there may be a lot of variation could have happened in the, in the what you call it, this within this 10 year. So that is what it is called time gap. Then, then we have a, a, the third one is called geographical gap. Somebody is doing a study with the population in US and someone is doing the population in Japan but nobody has done it in India. Then you can take the same thing and you can try in Indian context how it works, what are the way it, it, it can be explored further. That is called geographical gap. And the another fourth one it is called methodological gap. See, in the research method, you have different methods. You have quantitative approach, qualitative approach, or you know, different research designs are there, tools are there. In case for a particular study, they have used only quantitative approach where you want to go in depth to that study so you can change the approach. The gap, they have done only the quantitative approach, but you want to go to the qualitative, then you can go. It is methodological uh, gap. And the last one is called, it is called what you call the idea gap or, or probably a new new thing which nobody has tested, nobody has thought in the particular way, it is entirely new. Then you can say that all these things, uh, no, they, they have discussed many things but the one idea which you have taken, nobody has touched upon that idea so far Then it is entirely new that you can establish. So these are the different types of gaps. Then how would you identify these gaps? First thing you need to take a research paper. You have to download the papers. You have to read the papers uh, continuously, what you call voraciously. And then you should read the books and you should read the previous thesis. And all these things when you read, you can understand what are the things they have done. What are the things you can do further? This is like, uh, one, this is number one. Number two. In this thesis and research paper, you will have a, a section called limitation or future scope. The limitation section generally they could have given what are the things they are limited uh, in that particular research. Probably apart from that limitation, you can go beyond that thing, then that will be a research gap. And another one is they could have given clearly future scope. What are the uh, way the new researcher can continue their research in the future? In that thing you can, uh, you can take. Then you can go to the references, you can check the citations and if you analyze all these things, you can identify research gap only after establishing the proper research gap, you can continue a study. In, un, 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 until and unless you establish a research gap, your study is not valid. So I guess, uh, I hope that this video is really useful to you. If you find it useful, please uh, do not forget to share to your friends. And if you want, want to ask some question, please put it in the comment box. Let me answer you and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye. Please, uh, once again, let me remind you, do not forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and share to your friends and them get benefited. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.